Hi, it's Chad. It's Sunday, December 22nd, and it's a great day to be a game developer. This is my weekly development log for Paddles, Balls, Blocks, and Walls. I was able to make quite a bit of progress this week. I added all 50 levels from the original game called Block that inspired me to work on this project. I finished a two-part 3D help menu that explains all the blocks and power-ups. I added a few more music clips and sounds for each of the power-ups. Grower. Trinket. Small balls. Large balls. Infinite balls. <laughs> Max now. I started working on a few new ideas for the next 50 custom stages that I'll be creating in the coming weeks. One of the ideas is something I already made a short video on. Green blocks. They drop a seed when destroyed, and if the seed is not destroyed on time, the green block grows back. I also started working on the idea of moving blocks, which I think will open up a lot of possibilities. For the coming week, here are the things I have planned. Finish adjusting the balance and playability of the current 50 stages. There are a lot of small changes that need to be made especially on those stages where the balls are channeled into tunnel-like areas using the directional flow arrows. Create an arcade-style game mode where the focus is on scoring points and surviving through the stages as long as possible with a limited amount of lives rather than trying to complete the stages as fast as possible. I'm going to add at least a few more block types power-ups and custom levels, but I really want to take my time and think this through and test things thoroughly. There are so many possibilities and options to expand upon. For instance, combining the old-school breakout experience with elements of strategy. I've been getting ideas from games like Vampire Survivors and also card games like Inscription and Bellatro. I'm really excited to see what happens here and find out what works and what doesn't. Some other things on the horizon are creating multiple desktop versions of the game for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I definitely want to publish a mobile version. I think that this game could fit that platform quite well. I'd love to go in the console direction someday, depending on how well I could get controller support for the paddle working. This game requires really quick and responsive movement with the paddle, so it really lends itself to using a mouse and exploring alternative control methods might be necessary. I think this game would be really interesting in a VR environment. Hopefully I can get enough support to afford the equipment I need to do it right. And I think it would be an amazing learning experience. That's all for this week. Thanks for paying attention to my project and I'll see you next time. Play the game at chaduk.itch.io.